Emily, great to have you with us. So some surveys are suggesting, although more Americans are getting vaccinated, that a little over 20 million still say that they're not going to get the vaccine. That's lower than it previously was. But how many Americans need to be vaccinated in order for this to work? Ideally, everybody needs to be vaccinated. Of course, some people won't take the vaccine, but we want to keep that number as low as possible. The more people that get the vaccine, the sooner they get it, the faster we can get out of this mess and the easier it will be for us once fall comes next year. And Emily, the New York Times is reporting that around 5 million people or roughly 8% of people who received their first dose of the Pfizer or the Moderna vaccine, they haven't gotten their second dose. There's actually a lot of reasons for that, but some are saying that they think one dose is enough. What would you say to that? And what impact do you think that that has with, with people having that mentality that they only need to get one? Yeah, this is a very concerning trend. As we all know from our childhood vaccines and from the vaccines that we've given our kids, it takes multiple boosters often in order to get someone to have durable immunity that lasts throughout their life. And these shots are no different. Of course, people have some immunity after the first shot of the Moderna and the Pfizer, but that immunity isn't as good as it is after both shots. So both shots provide you with the immunity that you need to combat those new variants and to keep you out of the hospital if you get one of those new variants. And two shots gives you the long lasting immunity to get you through the fall and winter of next year when I fully expect coronavirus to make a new sort of introduction into our communities when we're back in the indoors, uh, back in the chill time of next fall. Emily, two, of course, is better than one, but we've still been hearing about some people that have had both doses of the vaccine contracting the coronavirus. Do we have any idea where those transmissions are coming from? Yeah, those transmissions are absolutely expected. A vaccine, it, this, these are amazing vaccines, and they are 90 to 95% effective. But we have thousands and thousands of cases of COVID right now in the United States. There are parts of the country where there are still 10% of the, the tests being done are positive. And if you look at that, you can understand that people who are vaccinated are still getting exposed to COVID. And breakthrough infections of about 10% of the individuals who get vaccinated are expected. Now, the good news is the vast majority of those people are staying out of the hospital, are not having many symptoms, and are not really passing it on very much. The people who are having a lot of trouble and ending up in the hospital were pretty sick to begin with and had a lot of medical problems. And so we're really thrilled with how the vaccine is working. But this is exactly why we want vaccinated people to continue to wear masks in public places and when they're around high-risk individuals. Because 100% and 95% are two different things. Great points. Emily Landon, we appreciate your expertise on the program. We appreciate you being with us.